All right, so uh, I'm locked out of my email. I can't use it. Um, it's got a lot of evidence in it. And that's due to the phone getting stolen yesterday that's got a lot of evidence on it. So I use my alternate email address and it doesn't work because it needs a phone number attached to it in order to utilize the Google telephone thing. So I, I've been spending all morning trying to fucking communicate with the goddamn cops. All goddamn morning. Now Jerome, he's the assistant manager here. He was just trying to save some trouble and save himself from having to do any extra work. The problem is he lied. Had he not lied to me, there were other options that I could have taken. Like having the cops come here and take a look at the security cameras, which is what I was trying to do. And the police officer is asking me why I didn't do these things last night. I'm like, I, I fucking did. Dude, I did. The assistant manager lied to me and told me that they didn't have any cameras. Because I wanted to make a police report about that phone missing. Because there is so much evidence on it. Just like with uh, the phone I had when Natalie died. When I lost that in July of last year, June of last year, sorry. That was devastating. That, that's important stuff. It's also my ability to communicate with others that's taken away. I have to find money to go to a Starbucks to hook up to the internet in order to even try to call the police. I, I've tried to fill out their form like three times already this morning. The last thing that they sent me, I was trying to get the form submitted and it sends me this thing saying that the form was not submitted and here's a one time only thing that you can do and then it fucking bleep me out of it so I, I can't fucking submit a goddamn police report no matter what I'm fucking and see Jerome wasn't wasn't thinking about how badly he was fucking me he was thinking he doesn't want to talk to the police that's what was going through his head yesterday when he decided to lie to me. He just didn't want to talk to the police. And that's why time is important. The officer's like, well, why didn't you call us when it first happened? She could be anywhere. I'm like, dude. Fuck, I was trying all day yesterday. Meanwhile, I can get on YouTube and make videos all I want. Hey YouTube, thank you for turning on and letting me make videos. I wish the police worked as easily as that. You have something to say, you go say it and they listen. YouTube doesn't actually listen and the cops don't actually listen, but the point is, at least on YouTube, I get to speak. I get to be heard. Now, Jerome, he's here today. The police could be talking to him. Daylight is fucking burning away. You know, if I'd have made that call yesterday, I could have probably gotten my phone back. I wouldn't have gotten locked out of my fucking Gmail account. I wouldn't have to try to find alternate ways to get a hold of the fucking cops. Asking fucking strangers, like, of course no. The homeless don't want to let me use their phone to call the police. They don't want to deal with the fucking police. They have to deal with the police enough already. They're homeless. They're not human beings to your fucking society. I understand why they don't want to. Connor last night letting me use his telephone to call the police. That was fucking above and beyond. But he wouldn't have had to do that if Jerome... What is a Starbucks employee's job when somebody says, Hey, somebody stole my things. I need to call the police and have them look at your uh, video cameras. Do you lie to them and say there's no video cameras? Is that what you're supposed to do at Starbucks? What the fuck is wrong with you goddamn people?
when I said I needed a safe place, it's not just a safe place for me, it's a safe place for my things, for my evidence. Moving around from place to place keeps me in a constant state of panic. Where am I going to stay tomorrow night? Always anticipating getting fucking harassed by the police for something or another. Because you're constantly harassed by the police for something or another. They don't want you to park in a parking lot overnight, so you set your alarm to wake you up at 2 o'clock and then another one at 4 o'clock so you can move a couple of times. <laughs> and it all costs gas. All the evidence that I needed to get fucking being stuck in survival mode has prevented me from being able to do any of the shit that I need to do and prevented me from having the resources that I need to have access to. But it's not just that. It's the fact that I had the resources that I needed. They were taken from me by bad cops, bad laws, and bad fucking Bollingers. I don't need you guys to send me money for the rest of my life so that I can live like this and never see any of my loved ones and just have my shit stolen all the fucking time and get harassed by cops over every little fucking thing and have to deal with people who hate the homeless. So anytime they see somebody who's unsightly, they call 911. Oh, there's somebody out here. He, he, he looks scary. Fuck you. Fuck you. So, when I get done with this TacomaSafe.org thing and filling it out, and I finally get it to go through, I think, it sends me something back saying that it, it didn't go through and I have to verify it through my Gmail. I don't have access to my Gmail because the cop didn't do his fucking job last night. The officer told me what I need to do is get the camera footage and take it down to them. Starbucks cannot do that. It's against the law. A cop has to be there. A police officer has to be there. He just didn't want to fucking show up last night. Didn't want to do his fucking job. Meanwhile, their website's a fucking joke. How the fuck am I supposed to make a goddamn police report? Meanwhile, the music is going on in there. Let's say you need to talk to the police. This is how I want to explain to you a safe fucking environment. Let's say you need to talk to the police about rape and murder and things of that nature. Meanwhile, you got a bunch of strangers walking around. A bunch of people you don't know from Adam. You're in a business where people obviously don't want to be listening to that kind of shit. I don't even know how to explain it. Fuck. That's the thing, is that... No matter what I do, it's wrong. If I'm good to people, it's wrong. If I'm treating people the way they treat me, then it's wrong. If I voice the opinions that are being thrown at me, I'm a terrible person. Meanwhile, I'm not saying that those things are okay. I'm saying those are the things being told to me. I, I, I'm overwhelmed. I wish Connor was here. <coughs> He's got a phone that he'd let me use. He let me use the phone last night to try to make a phone call to the police. Their fucking website, I, I've gone through it repeatedly. I need help. I 
I need you to sit down and show me how. Instead of treating me like shit because I need you to show me how. Instead of treating me like shit because I'm overwhelmed with you telling me what to do. Even when I tell you I've tried it repeatedly, you fucking spout that shit again and again and again. Why didn't you try what I said from the very beginning? Go in with me to talk to the police last fucking January. Someone please go in with me. So the police won't fucking torture me for trying to turn in a police officer. Multiple police officers at that point. Nobody would fucking look. Not one goddamn person, not one friend would look at the fucking evidence. I've got a lot of it. Sit down with me and look at this shit so you know what the fuck is going on. Sit down with me in person. I am having so many technical difficulties and I'm sorry. I'm tired of apologizing for not knowing how to do these things. I am sick and tired of apologizing for being victimized. I am tired of having to break the goddamn law. I was a good man. I didn't deserve this fucking bullshit. I get that the homeless don't want to talk to the cops. I get that Jerome doesn't want to talk to the cops. Cops aren't well liked for a fucking reason, goddammit. Like, they made it impossible for me to make a fucking police report. Impossible! As in, no matter what I do, I cannot get a fucking cop to do their fucking job! I even broke the law to try to force them to take a look. To try to force an outside agency to come take a look. Fuck the Secret Service and fuck the FBI. I should be allowed to die. Somebody should kill me instead of forcing me to go through all this fucking torture. It is fucking torture. I need help. Not pretty words and people telling me what to do. How many people bothered to find out what the fuck has been going on? I mean, I'm fucking overwhelmed and I shut down. And my dad's, you know what he yelled at me for? Was he yelling at me for shit that I was doing? No. He was yelling at me because the shit that he wanted me to do, that I was doing, did not have the outcome that he wanted, that he expected. He made zero effort to try to find out what the fuck was going on. He was too busy with his judgment. He had already made a predetermined judgment before I fucking got there. Fuck my dad. He's a fucking shitty excuse for a human being who chose cocaine over his own fucking kids. Gee, I wonder if there's another family that is similar to that. Oh, yeah, the Bollinger family. The Kelly family, the Garner family. Fuck all these people. I should have been able to cross-examine these son of a bitches in court. I should have been allowed to go to court! God damn you! These 
are constitutional rights guaranteed to me and guaranteed to you. But it's not happening to you so you don't give a fuck.